We are about to embark on our very first ever ocean crossing. I don't feel like I even need to tell you that that's a big deal. Like that statement alone, like this is a big deal. Oh no. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I read a meme just like yesterday or like last week that said the five minutes that men run around with mustaches when they shave their beard is like the the scariest moment of a woman's life. <laughs> oh my gosh. I haven't shaved yet. You look great. Look at your baby What did I look before? <laughs> <laughs> look at this. You look like when I first met you. No. Yeah, so then I'll just let it grow. And then once we get there, we can see how long it is. So this will document the passage of passage of time it's and be like seasons. I feel like, Hopefully yeah. not. <laughs> but I was thinking, what if we did like an act, like before and after of all of us? You're gonna start this trip as a boy and end as a man. That's right. Mm. Yeah. Exactly. And I'm gonna end with like dreaded Dreads. hair. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna have like feathers and seaweed, yeah. like no, from like birds sure. that were you collected at sea. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna cross the Atlantic. We are currently gonna jump back <coughs> to real time because we want to real time document the undertaking of crossing an ocean with you guys so that you can like be living it as we're living it. So we are coming to you live currently in Bermuda. The boat is pretty much ready to go. We've been here for about a week and we are hopefully setting sail to cross to the Azores. Every day we're gonna do like daily vlogs while we're sailing across the Atlantic, but we probably won't be able to post them each day <laughs> just because, I mean, conditions and weather and who knows what happens. So right. we will be posting while we go, but it is not going to be every day. That's just not gonna happen. Okay, so in the videos, because we started doing the raw format, we ended up with a bigger backlog than we usually have. Do not worry, we will be giving you guys all of the Bahamas footage. We've had an amazing season in the Bahamas. We've actually decided that we want to do kind of a new format and make these videos from the Bahamas like really special. We showed you our life in the Bahamas last time we were in the Bahamas, and so we wanted to do it a little bit different this time. So th that'll come after this. It'll make it, sense when it happens. It's fair to say, to be excited for those videos. I'm excited for them. We're gonna do something, we're doing something very fun. And yeah, so here we are. We are plus one. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> plus Ayana. Here, I'm scooch. I really need to go in the face. <laughs> he doesn't care, he's, he's happy like, about uh, it. <laughs> Ayana's crewing with us. She is on board for the passage. Crossing from Bermuda to the Azores is roughly two weeks, which will be the longest sail that we have ever done. By far, by nautical mileage, it's gonna be almost 2,000 nautical miles, and yeah, about two weeks. So it's just gonna be a, it's a big sail, a big passage for us, so we're happy to have Ayana help us out. And we've been filming prep. So we're gonna show you the prep stuff that we've been doing. I'm gonna roll those clips for you guys now, and then we'll give you, I guess, like all the updates about prepping to leave. Right after I tell you the message from our sponsor, this week's video is sponsored by AG1. AG1 is a daily foundational nutrition supplement that supports whole body health, because while we have a degree of individuality, our bodies rely on the same nutrient foundation to nourish the systems that power our health. It's an effortless daily habit. It's just eight ounces or more of water with a scoop of AG1. Put it in there, put the cap on, and shake it up. And right there, right in this bottle, is 75 ingredients. It's giving vitamins and minerals, adaptogens, superfoods. It's got prebiotics. It's got Probiotics. I personally really like the taste. I feel like it has a crisp apple taste. My serving suggestion for you is definitely add ice. I really like it like ice cold. To get started, to try it out, go to drinkag1.com forward slash expedition Evans. And AG1 is going to give you a free one year supply of vitamin D3 plus K2. And you're also going to get five AG1 travel packs with your first purchase. Thank you so much AG1 for your continued sponsorship of our channel. Thanks for sponsoring this video and I hope you guys try it out. And as always, please continue to leave feedback on what you think about AG1. Um, what else should we tell them? Kind of our whole, the whole reason we've decided to do this is that we, not the passage, but like how we're, we're doing the passage because we want to cross an ocean, <laughs> but we want to document it all in a way that makes it where you guys can share in the experience with us. This is a huge like life accomplishment. Crossing sure. an ocean yeah. with wind power, yeah. I mean, we want to share it with you the best way we can, and this is the best way we know how. So make sure that you are subscribed. And turn on the notification bell because there's a really good chance we won't post every day at the same time. 
So right. if you're like looking for updates, that's probably your best bet. So that when we do post an update, you get it. And if we don't post an update for a few days, I, I assure you we're fine. Don't go sending the Coast Guard after us. Like we've got, we've got people for that. We've got like people doing our weather routing. We've got people watching our EPIRBs. Like if anything happens, we're covered. So if we don't post, the reason we're not posting is because we're seasick. Okay, ready? Nope. Cleaning up my workspace a little bit. Where's the rip? Let's show everybody. Sail stinks. Did it get sour or something? Yeah. Beautiful. I always wondered what the inside of the sail looks like. This is the problem, this ripping through, because that's just gonna keep ripping. I mean, this is such a common thing. Oh yeah, I think they'll be able to fix it for us. Hundred percent. Yeah. We would tell you what's going on, but no, I'm just kidding. This thing's heavy. The enough. altitude, <laughs> brutal. Ayana. But we got a little sidetracked, so I think we might, I think she might be there. We were hoping to be at the dinghy dock before she got there, but neither of us have a uh, cell service here in Bermuda, so. It's possible she's been waiting there not that long. We're role playing 2001. <laughs> Did you print out that quest? We had to make plans ahead of time and like not be able to text while we're doing it. Well, I don't see her. Oh, maybe we made it here first then. Well, that's good. I was hoping we would. Same. And we get to throw our oil away. Yep. They have a oil depository, like a special trash can for oil. Is that her right oil. there? Is it? Perfect timing. Oh, she just got here. Hi. That was great timing. Perfect timing. Did you just get out of the cab? Yeah. Nice. That's your van? That's awesome. <laughs> I'm very embarrassed with how much uh, luggage I have. Well, <laughs> well most of it's ours. <laughs> Introducing our newest crew member <laughs> in her morning glory. <laughs> Dogs approved. <laughs> That's a monster dinghy. Yeah. Right oh yeah? This is not a huge one. Katie? I wonder if we should just grab this. Is that cabbage? Uh, that is uh, iceberg lettuce. Oh, uh, do you guys want to get sand tuna for the. Um, yeah, do they have any of the pouches? I think we're set. So I'm kind of feeling like we didn't get enough food. I like this bucket. Good bucket. It is a good bucket. I well, we, we already have. still had a lot. We had a huge provision before we left the Bahamas. Yeah, so I think we have tons of food. I'll be impressed if we eat all the produce before it goes bad. We got a lot of produce. I think we'll eat it all. We've got a third person. Oh, yeah. 
now that we have done two provision trips and we're good on food, food gets to be the most important thing on the list, barely. We have one more important stop to make. I gotta go find Ayana and I'm taking her with me. I think she was returning the cart. Ah, there she is. They let us give them 20 bucks to take the cart to the dock. And then as long as we return the cart, they'd give us the 20 bucks back. So she just ran the cart back. Uh, the, honestly, Bermuda's great. Like everything is so convenient. This is the most convenient port we've ever been to. And the friendliest. Hey, that lady was like, you're leaving and gave me a hug. Let's um, go get yarn. Do you wanna go to the yarn store? <laughs> That's what I've been waiting for all this time. <laughs> Every day. We tried to go yesterday and it was closed. We're gonna crochet a whole new bimini. <laughs> Get a matching necklace? Yes. I don't think, I don't know. It's again. <laughs> nice. And it's a bush. Hello. Hi, how are you doing? Hi, how are you? All right, we've got a galley full of food. So much food. We will not starve on the ocean mm -hmm. as long as we're not on the ocean for very long. Like we've got like a few weeks. Yum. <laughs> okay, Ayana's gonna get meal prepping and we are going to go to the other side of the island. We need to go to the government office and get our dog paperwork stamped so that the dogs can legally enter Europe. And we're renting a tiny little car. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. It's gonna be so funny. <laughs> you good? You want to taste one? Nope, I got it. Oh. Ah, okay, yep, yeah, nope. Nice. Gonna be a fun little adventure. <laughs> I mean, little, you'll see why. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, where is this? Uh, back over by the ferry. For me, this is so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Like, look at all these colors. We got red, we got orange, we got teal, we got yellow, we got pink. A different shade of blue. So fun. I love it. Here it is. Oh my. <laughs> oh man. We're gonna get soaked if it rains. Let's hope it doesn't rain then. I get the back seat. I call back seat. Deal. This reminds you to drive on the left side of the road. Oh cool. I wasn't expecting that. It's like a sports car. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what this is. <laughs> Basically, this trip is to... Oh, we need to unplug us. Oh, right. The whole point of what we're doing right now is that we already took the dogs to the vet. So now the next step is that we now have to take that paperwork to the government vet and the government vet will look over all the paperwork and then stamp it with like the official Bermuda seal confirming that all is good. I'm Sunday from Carm Together. Remember, keep left and always wear your seatbelt. Let's go. I look like I have hot dog legs right now, like with this angle. I was trying to show that I'm like. Sure, my headphones. Doing great, babe. Thanks. This is fantastic. <laughs> Way more fun than a taxi. Way more fun than a taxi. And half the price. Consistently be passed up by Vespa's right now. What was that? I said we're basically in a Tesla right now. Basically. I wonder if Elon made this. I think so.
The government offices are in the botanical gardens. I would love to go to work at like an office job, but have it be in the botanical garden. We can't find our building. We found it. That is incredible. <laughs> uh, I didn't believe we would find it. There's like a million tiny little buildings and we're like trying to find the right one. Like the least green of the greens too. That went so great. Like we're just adding one better, more. Better than expected. Or I mean, like, it went better than we could have even asked. Like that yeah, was that great. Was fantastic. They stamped it a bunch. The guy was nice. Stamped it a bunch. A bunch. Bermuda has just Nothing been out of this world good. Yeah, we've had nothing but good to say about Bermuda. Yeah, like, like. Even the cars are great. <laughs> the cars are fantastic. No, it just, yeah. The whole idea of having government employees like that work at immigration and stuff, just being happy and so nice. And it's just refreshing. Stop laughing at me. <laughs> Not laughing at you. I'm laughing at everything about this. I I'm love like, it. Giving like a heart to heart about. <laughs> All right. Ow. You okay? Did you hit your head? I hit my knee. Is this open? I don't know. What is it? Is this like an air vent? <laughs> it's a sunroof. You had it open? A little bit. Nice. A little, little airflow. Are we gonna go to the shop or should we just go home? Uh, your call. I mean, tapioca flour would be good. Okay, I'm ready. I'm gonna vlog. Definitely one of the most important things for crossing an ocean is going to be all of the safety equipment, obviously. So we've got a few things on board, like our e -perp, which is basically like an emergency signal if something were to go down. Even if the boat sank, um, it would automatically go off if it becomes submerged in water. We also have our life raft, which is kind of exactly what it sounds like, a raft that you stay alive in while you wait for rescue. So I am going to go have a look at that right now. Our life raft is still good. It gets serviced every few years. So we're gonna leave that all packed up and safe, not mess with that. But with the life raft, we also have a huge grab bag. And the grab bag lives back here. Let's see the boat's sinking and we need to go overboard to uh, get into the life raft. It's super easy to access in this cabinet back here, so we can like open the cabinet and then throw it out. So here we have it. Here's the cabinet. And this is a water jug. And here is our grab bag. And below that is our life raft. We have a Viking life raft and it is for six people size. We have the strap for the grab bag. It loops through right here. And then this is a jug of water. Um, that's filled up to like maybe like right here so that it would still float if it fell into the ocean And then right here on the side is the e-perbs. So that's also like we could just drop that out if that's all we needed Careful Don't send the e-perb in the water. I know. Can you imagine? <laughs> that would be a mess. Don't accidentally activate your e-perb. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> You did a better job than I did. I almost fell down the stairs with it a deadlift with that. Yeah, seriously. Who needs weights on board? This is a lot. <laughs> okay, let's look at what we've got in here. So, Ayana just like inventoried and repacked it, but we didn't film any of it. It's just a big bag of peanut butter. I mean, that would keep us fed. Definitely. <laughs> and happy. And this for you guys. So, we're in the life raft. It's pretty cozy. The sea state sucks because it would have to be awfully bad for us to sink. Yeah. Three hats. Three hats and three shirts. Nice. That's it for the clothing that we have packed. A dog bowl. I'll just unpack it all and then we'll show you guys. And then we can pack. label it all like boop, boop, boop. Yeah, then you guys can see it all. That'll be better. Here it is. This is, wow, it's actually a lot when you put it out on the table like this. No wonder it was heavy. I'm like looking down on it right now. But we got all kinds of good stuff. So over here we've got... This is a signaling kit. We've got a survival guide, some UV clothing. We've got three separate first aid kits. Uh, inside this one, we have a GoPro with GoPro batteries and then also the solar chargers so we can charge the GoPro. 
and a huge SD card so we could fill a ton. Wipes for like kind of cleaning ourselves up. Also deodorant so we don't stink. Back there we've got bottles of amoxicillin. One of the coatings, like one of the pain meds and then a bottle of Advil. Drinking water. These are emergency rations for dogs. And then we have tuna, some like high calorie bars. Emergency thermal blankets, emergency rations. None of these are gluten free. So if I eat these, I would get sick but survive. Um, so these ones are gluten free, so I'll eat these ones, but I only have like four days worth. And then after that, go in for the gluten. A emergency fishing tackle kit, which threw a bunch of these travel packs of AG1, so we get extra vitamins. Hopefully we won't be out there long enough to get scurvy. And then peanut butter, because that'll make life a little better. And that's pretty much it. Chapstick, a lighter, contact solution. Ooh, we have a waterproof notebook so we can write our thoughts about being stranded on the sea. Which you need a pencil, not a pen for that. Or else it'll just bleed. Noted. <laughs> okay. And then um, waterproof torch. I feel like when they're like this, I want to call them a torch like, like people from the UK. That's what I called it when I wrote it on the list. <laughs> yeah, this is not a flashlight. No, everybody. it's a torch. This is a torch. <laughs> and then um, the super important stuff's here. We've got, these are our flares, our signals. Also glow sticks. No, that's not a glow stick. That's a handheld flare. These are the glow sticks so that we aren't just in the dark. And then EPIRB. And that is gonna tell everybody where we are and that we need rescuing. What about cool. Decker cards? Oh. The most important piece of entertainment. Waterproof playing cards. We bought them on Amazon and they will hopefully keep the insanity at bay. <laughs> right? And that is our survival kit. Plus eight gallons of water. I think we'll survive. What are we gonna do when we get sick of each other? Uh, I'm gonna take the mask and be like, all right, I'm gonna take some time and go <laughs> hop in the water. If you come back with fish, that would be good. <laughs> we need fins. Maybe we should store them on the back can so we, we can throw them overboard. Put a in there, maybe? I doubt we're gonna be able to spearfish for like pelagic fish like that, you think? We would exhaust ourselves. But that might be good, and we'll sleep. No, we'd die. <laughs> <laughs> Not with our 3,600 block calories. It's basically a floating apartment, a floating studio. That's basically, it. it'd be like a, a little vacation. Like the relaxing kind, where you don't do anything except just like bring relax. the mini fridge, like... <laughs> With the Jackery and the solar panels? Yeah, I'm grabbing the Jackery if we're going down. I mean, actually, that's a good plan. We're going through the instruction manual for our... Whoa! We're going through the instruction manual for the life raft. The microphone just popped off. So the boat's on fire. We've gathered... Oh, yeah. So you either tie the life raft on or you untie it and then you throw it in and then you get into the life raft which is great timing because look at the fire <laughs> <laughs> like in the amount of time it took this guy to get the life raft off the entire boat is engulfed in flames like <laughs> like i feel like this is insurance fraud going on like <laughs> for sure right <laughs> like this is a gasoline fire <laughs> This is how to get rescued, to get by, rescued a by a helicopter. He's just like this. This is what you do. <laughs> <laughs> That's how. I would like to politely request, if we're going to get rescued by a helicopter, like, please send the handsome Marine down <laughs> to, like, show us how to wear the harness. Like, we're going to be in emotional distress. And, like, make sure it's a Marine. Yeah, like, like so, you know, somebody nice. Brett, <laughs> Brett's gonna be. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Brett's gonna be like, we're not putting this in the video. <laughs> That's mostly what we wanted to review. So the reason we pulled this open is because the life raft actually has its own ditch bag with it. It has some safety equipment. We're not positive what's in there, which is why we wanted to have a look and see, so we make sure we have enough of everything. Another tackle kit. Mm, anti seasickness. A baler. And sure, the painter line See? is attached. <laughs> Ayana just learned that 
what a painter is. I was like, can you grab the painter in the D the other day? She like looks at me, she's like... <laughs> terminology. <laughs> you don't need to know what a clue is. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> There's so many boat terms. It's really hard. It's hard, especially when you didn't grow up with it. You gotta, like, read the comment section on YouTube. We speak like, enough languages as it is. I'm pretty sure that now that Ayana's on board, we're going to have to, like, edit out way more. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, because we're just going to be, like, giggling. Otherwise, people are going to watch, like, 20 minutes of giggling. Mm. Yeah, stop having fun. Was that, um, have you ever seen that movie, Zoolander? I don't know, but you have a really cute pouty face. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so basically we're going through every step of like, what do we do if we need to deploy the life raft? And so the first thing you do is you tie the, the painter of the life raft onto the boat. So that led us into quick draw bowline tying lessons. And I have had requests made, you guys have seen me tie a bowline really quick and people have been like, Jade, show us how to do that. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it really quick. This is courtesy of Brett being an Eagle Scout. Don't tell him you heard it from me. I need to secure, pretend this is connected to the life raft and it's sinking. Oh no, you go around like this, take the tail, you go over, through, around, back through, and then you've got a bowline. Yeah, no, you should film. <laughs> I don't think they could even see what was happening. <laughs> and I was like, is there a riddle or something to remember this? And I was like, over the bridge? Under the bridge, <laughs> around through the, through bridge. the bridge. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but then you have a bowline just like that. One, Set. two, three, go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what knot did you tie? <laughs> <laughs> Your arms were just flailing over there. <laughs> Very competitive. Okay. Ready? Set. Go. go. Was that a tie? It's actually really cool because you're left-handed and I'm right-handed, so we're doing the uh, full demo here for anybody <laughs> who <Yes. needs. laughs> That three. was a tie. I think it was. It was a tie of ties. Oh, man. <laughs> Throw me overboard right now for that Only joke. with the life raft. Ready? One, two, three, go. I fumbled. That was another tie. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Sick. You're a good teacher. <laughs> Thanks, you learned that really fast. Okay, it was the riddle, I think. Over the bridge, under the bridge, around the bridge, and through the bridge. I mean, I feel like <laughs> it, you, it worked, you learned. <laughs> okay, everybody go practice your bowline tying. <laughs> so do you personally feel that if somebody is gonna rescue us from a helicopter, like, and send like the harness down, that they should also send down like the nice looking Marine to help us put our harnesses on? Is I mean, he's gonna be wearing like a helmet and like all the stuff, so like, does it really matter? Not it's really mostly your, the uniform. Not really your tight. Oh, <laughs> uniformed man is Brett's only requirement. He doesn't even care if they're good looking. <laughs> Don't think that's that's be good looking for you guys. We're wearing the uniform, so it doesn't matter what you actually look. Yeah, like. but like, they should send somebody down. I mean, yeah. Brett's over here, like, knows how to get rescued by helicopter. Hi. How do we have our customs? Do you want to tell everybody what you've been doing? There you go. Oh. I don't want to tell them right now. Are you so I'll tell you later. There's going to be a brief green light and then three flashes and then a long green light and a beep. Okay. So let's see. Okay, we got the three flashes. And the long. There it is. Cool. And lights. Nice. Cool. All right, we passed the test. Boot. Good to go. Hello. <laughs> he weighs as much as I ought to. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Bananas! <laughs> Woo! Ha ha! <laughs> uh, where is it? <laughs> Nice. Very nice. Almost there. 
<laughs> Somebody look. give me a high five. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. Wait, I'm coming. <laughs> Exactly what you said. I told you that was gonna happen. <laughs> Whoops. Well, tell us what you're doing anyway. <laughs> oh wow, that's snug. Lee class. This really? is like Lee a cushion. Hi. Go on. Can you cuddle? Go, go, go. Right I think he's still so knocked out. Yes, he's just laying in bed. Dingo. He is. Dingo, completely come. Completely knocked out. <laughs> he looks like he just came. Who he came to no, life? He has no idea what's going on. Right Dingo, now. come here, buddy. Dingo. Come. Come here, Dingo. He's like so dazed. Come on. Go on. Go on. Come. Good boy. <laughs> Immediately, I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> like, oh, this is nice. All right. It's like now, a little clubhouse. Come here. Lay down. <laughs> Dingo's already asleep. He's like, this is great. Can we go back to sleep now? Dingo. <laughs> I kind of want to get in there. <laughs> So apparently I'm on shift and you two are sleeping. <laughs> this is what it's gonna be. Good night. Good night. <laughs> okay, will you tell us what this actually is all for? Oh. Okay, yeah. So <laughs> we've gone this whole time without Lee Kloss on board, and it's fine, but not like ideal. Lee Kloss, basically, the whole idea is that when the boat rocks around, you have like a canvas, usually, is how it is, and it makes it where when you roll, it catches you. So think like, those things they put on toddler beds, mm -hmm. you know? Like the nets, so you can't fall out of your yeah, That's exactly that's what exactly I was or like, Or like a bunk yeah. bed, the little yeah. like upper upper wall. Yeah. thinking about falling off the top bunk of a bunk bed. Yeah. Exactly, so if you're forcibly rolled off of the bed while you're at sea, it'll catch you. Um, so we're just kind of fabric fashioning one for this passage. Um, usually it's like canvas, but we thought we'd make it squishy. And the cushions fit perfectly. Yeah. So if you have the same model of boat as us, you're both out. Yeah, already. that happened fast. <laughs> yeah. Did we just leave this all the time? Yeah. Well, she made a great dog bed. They're really good for whatever. <laughs> I own a fish ride in. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> I can't with you guys. Here we go. Ready, set, go. Oh, damn! Uh, annihilated you! That was pretty good. I, I may have jumped the gun like a millisecond though. Yeah, but you won by way more yeah, than a millisecond. <laughs> you look pretty in this lighting, Ayana. Thanks. Hey, excuse me. You're not in the lighting. Step oh, okay. over here. Oh, you missed my Come. flip. I did the oh, lighting. <laughs> oh, wow. Actually, that was fabulous. <laughs> they should have headbutting me. I thought for sure I was going to lose a tooth. <laughs> Bermuda is stunning. Do you have my shoes, Jade? I have your shoes. Do you have your shoes? I have my shoes. Can you give her shoes? She has her shoes. I got my shoes. You got blue suede shoes? Excuse me. Let's go to town. I feel like go to town is a fun phrase. Such a pretty town. That was the way the wrong tune for that. That was... Yeah, that was down, down. <laughs> but I was thinking downtown. She's an song. uptown girl. Yeah, not that one, though. She's been living in an up... Do you feel like you're getting splashed? Nope. Do you feel like your face is cold? Actually. 
actually, yeah. <laughs> I feel very vulnerable. <laughs> wow, it is so choppy over here. Flash! <laughs> Your face! Can you go, Tom? Dingo, wait. Take your shoes. Take this. That is one of the loudest wind jumps I've ever heard. Yeah, that's bad. One of the reasons why Bermuda is amazing is because they provide free trash for all the boats. Or like right off, and a free dinghy dock. A public dinghy dock. And not only, they went above and beyond because they provide a place for you to dispose of oil. So we were able to do an oil change on our engine and our gen freighter. Should we go back this way? Where are we headed? We need to go around to okay. either to the coffee shop or over there. We got to talking to some other sailors who are prepping for the same passage as us. So we're gonna go meet up with them now for some drinks and talk about sailor things, <laughs> AKA Mostly weather. weather. <laughs> Forecasting. Ayana thinks that our favorite conversation topics aren't very fun. <laughs> so she planned ahead and invited a friend. Yeah, just in case you guys were too boring. <laughs> to the bar. To the bar. Sounds very different than saying to the yacht club. <laughs> I should have sat on my jacket like yeah, that. That's so what I'm doing. <laughs> Are you old enough to have a license? Sir? I, 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 young man, I have to. I should have brought your ID in case you get carded. You're the one who's going to get carded. No, because I, I make you look older when you're with me, but now I don't. Oh no! <laughs> Okay. I don't know. Hey, listen. Can anybody identify the sound? <laughs> what is, is it? A frog? A cricket? A monkey? We can't find the entrance to this place, but we saw them on the balcony. Here we go. Drinks. Oh, you can film this. Oh, jeez. Well, we survived last night. I think we're all a little bit tired, a little bit slow morning. And this morning, we've had new weather updates, and we are potentially leaving tonight. But we still need to go to Hamilton to get our package. So Ayana and I are going to go on a package mission, and Jade is going to finish getting the boat ready. Literally everything else ready in our life, and then we can go. Mm-hmm. And take it easy. Enjoy Hamilton. Thank you. I think you guys should get the little car again. <laughs> this thing is hilarious. <laughs> Fancy. How do I move my seat? This thing's too far forward. Tap in? Yeah. Jump on in. <laughs> <laughs> this is so great. <laughs> nice. All right, I'm gonna put in one headphone so I can hear directions, but go ahead and get that speaker set up. Okay. Riding the car. Does it do that every time you turn on the car? <laughs> <laughs> We're alive! <laughs> so far, so good. <laughs> like Fast and the Furious. <laughs> How do I get out? Just gotta... Whoa! <laughs> you got a hand? <laughs> Here. 
time though. Success. Do you fit this in the back seat? I think so. You wanna try it? Yeah, All for right. sure. <laughs> yes. I feel like I could sit on top of it. <laughs> like a booster seat. <laughs> I'm gonna be able to see better. <laughs> All right. I don't know. Do you think it's gonna go down with you? Let's see. It's almost as big as the car. It is. So. We should have brought a ratchet strap, honestly. Yeah. We can go buy one. <laughs> I think Let's we should. See. I think we should take it out of the box. Oh, plenty of space. Well, actually, it's scooted forward so I can get out. So okay. I don't know if you're gonna fit. Oh, perfect. Can you close the door like that? <laughs> no. Well, maybe. Oh, golden. It just fits. <laughs> what if you put it vertical? Then you can't see. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. I want a view of the nice water on the way back. <laughs> we'll have to put her here on the side by me. We got room. Can't get a lot. We gotta get some muffin mix though. Just the muffin mix. <laughs> the traffic's getting really awkward. <laughs> Everyone's just looking at us like we're crazy. <laughs> it was better when we were moving fast. Yeah. <laughs> now we see the same people over and over. Yeah. Just hanging out with us. If I was stuck before, I'm definitely <laughs> stuck now. Hi, <laughs> Buffers. Hello. Hello. We had quite the adventure. Success? Yes. Success. Tango Starlink. Yay! And chai hey. tea. Chai. <gasps> Thank you. You're welcome. Um, what is it called? Dirty chai. <laughs> Actually, we got lots of good stuff. I'm oh. thrilled about this. Bags and bags of marshmallows. From your mom. <laughs> this is her packing peanuts. She put them in the bag. Yes. They have like names on them. Is that yarn? Yeah. No, I didn't. But I told her we wanted to crochet. <laughs> That's fun. Lots of surprises. She labeled them. Yeah, as a... they say stuff. It's good. I'm sweeter than bubble wrap. <laughs> One of them says I identified as packing peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I mean, how can you argue with that? You sound logic. Yay. And why should I? <laughs> Have you been filming? No, I've just been working. I, like, okay. I, I was going to say, you did a lot while we were gone. I did so. a lot of editing. Did you? Dingo did a lot of foot eating. Oh, did Good boy. your foot itch? Did you get the halogens? Would you like some cheese? <laughs> I kind of got great things at the store. I got cornbread mix. I got pancake mix. I got gluten-free chocolate chip cookies. That's a good one. I got pizza crust. Tapioca flour. <gasps> you found, she found them. it. More gluten-free chocolate chip cookie mix. Blueberry muffin yes. mix. Yes. And this white white flour blend with tapioca. So we cool. We decided, I think like the last thing we mentioned to you guys about weather was like that we were gonna wait until the next weather forecast and then leave kind of based on what that was saying. And it's a good thing that we waited that one more forecast because guess what's brewing on the horizon? What's brewing on the horizon, Brett? Nastiness, maybe. Uncertainty? Yes, definitely some uncertainty if it ever loads. Yeah. Oh, it's doing like funny uh, lines. We're about to watch a movie and just pulled up the computer on HDMI and it has uh, weather. Do you want to t like toggle it? That. Yeah. Let's see, you see that nastiness. 70 knots. That's a lot of wind. <laughs> so this. Now here, I'll use my. Where's the projector? Right here. So right there, that's where we are, and we're going across to there, and that guy is coming st straight north. To intercept our path. Yeah, and it's probably going to hit north and then come east, kind of on this current right here. So there's a good chance that it'll come up 
and come like that right into the back of us. If it actually ends up developing right now, that they're showing like a 50-50 chance of it becoming this. The other option is that it just kind of dissipates and goes away. So we're waiting a little bit to see, because right now it's still way early on. Yeah, today's the first day. Today's the first day that it's existed on the forecast radars at all. Um, so right now it's all just like everybody's like, we don't know what's happening. We don't know where it's going to hit. We talked to, what, no less than like six other boats today. Mm -hmm. And everybody's kind of saying the same thing. Sit tight. See what the storm does. Uh, and we'll decide based on that later. Everybody's like ready to go, but not ready anymore. Whoa. I'm zooming on it again. That looked terrifying. You're messing with me. You're one hundred percent messing with me right now. Nope, it just it just got updated. Here comes Tropical Storm Brett. No way! Are we serious right now? <laughs> How great is that? I mean, we'll find out in a few days. Tropical Storm Brett coming at ya. You are the reason we're stuck here in Bermuda for a little while. You're welcome. For a lot of reasons, actually. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever told them what happened to Starlink? No. Do you not want to tell them? No, we can't. I just... I just okay. Have Brett was changing the mounting I was just moving it from the starboard side to the port side, yeah. Brett accidentally dropped the Starlink cord into the ocean while it was live and just fried our system. So we had to order the new system, and it was supposed to get here and get released, but then Customs, actually DHL, kind of made a mistake. But we won't. Yeah, 100% DHS fault. We won't blast them too bad, but they basically kind of lost the package for a few days. And so finally we were able to get the package, but it took a three extra days than what it was supposed to take. And so we missed our weather window. And then we're like, it's fine, we'll just leave tomorrow. And so everything's ready, we get the new Starlink, we wake up in the morning, we're gonna go. And um, that morning is when the tropical storm system showed up on all the forecasts. So we decided to not sail into hurricanes and to stay put and wait and see what happened. And that's why we're still here. So it started with Brett dropping the cord and now it's because of Hurricane Brett. <laughs> <laughs> Tropical storm Brett, it's not a hurricane yet. Yep. Brutal. Okay. That's all C string and I didn't tune that string. Okay. Um. <laughs> you almost got away with that. Turn the camera off. I can't do it. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's like, God right, damn it! Right, 